Cancer, welcome back to Joy and Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're going to go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we'll jump into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Cancer on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently... 4 36 p.m today is may 6th of 2024 i hope you guys are doing well so um we're almost at your season you should be feeling the vibes of your birthday i'm hearing that as well some of you are planning a big trip planning a big celebration here so it may feel like it's your birthday and you're like still two months away um and it kind of feels like when people are planning a wedding as well so you may have a lot of events going on during your season anyway anyway i'm also hearing a lot of distractions as well so i see you guys trying to keep focus so this morning i woke up with three different people telling me that i was in their dreams and the last time this happened was on october 19th so go back to that day check your notes check your um, camera roll because there's something coming full circle from there yeah wow the world there's definitely something coming full circle from there i'm hearing libra season the magician for some of you guys or most of you guys you have something manifesting from back then so make sure you're very thorough when you're checking that out um also you guys may want to get a bamboo plant at this time for abundance and feng shui anyway so getting back into your reading i was hearing set an alarm for 10 12 p.m you guys are gonna have an angelic encounter that symbolizes that a war is over and you're moving on to a new story a new home wow 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 queen of cups and the king of cups on that right there so set that alarm you're gonna get some type of like i said angelic encounter divine synchronicity just take it how it resonates by 11 p.m i was hearing the last girl standing also set a timer for two hours and you're gonna get you're gonna get a confirmation there as well yeah eight of swords in reverse for some of you you may have a conversation about a new beginning a new start with the fool on the bottom of the deck there so moving forward to scenario two i'm seeing another new story begin because somebody's kicked out of some type of organization or a fraternity or something that's like a really big deal i'm hearing in three days somebody gets excluded and i was hearing zeta phi beta i don't even know if that's a masculine or a feminine organization but just take it how it resonates somebody may drive a mercedes but um yeah somebody gets kicked out of a situation so that you can move into that situation here with this eight of swords and the six of cups for some of you this could be somebody getting kicked out of a certain home or like an apartment a condo that you wanted it's like maybe you try to apply for a certain place and they're like oh no we're full and then they hit you right back like oh actually we have vacancy now you know so it could be something like that wheel of fortune just expect the unexpected i'm hearing in the neck in the next three days between the ninth and the tenth all right and i was also hearing you can join with no requirements necessary so whatever this is like there's no hassle there's no nothing give me one second i have some tea on the stove let me just get that Ooh. maybe somebody gives you some type of special discount i'm hearing the real tea like I see a really cool leasing agent or realtor and they're like, listen, let me let me help you out, Cancer. Let me assist you. I see somebody giving you like a gift or something that really, really helps you. All right. Now, moving forward to um, scenario three. Give me one second. So that second thing you'll know about the 9th or the 10th. Now on the 11th, I'm seeing in the next two weeks, you guys are going to have a lot of free time, right? So you think. So maybe you're planning like, oh, the next two weeks, I'm going to have um, time to do this, I'm going to have time to do that. But I'm seeing a situation where spirit puts someone into your life 
that's holding on to a lot of resentment and you're meant to find the child within them. I'm hearing anti-social club. That's a um, clothing brand. Some of you, you may be a clothing designer. Some of you, this person may wear this brand. You may be a social worker as well, because I'm seeing a situation like that where, you know, somebody's holding on to a lot of resentment, then they come with you and you're meant to heal them or help them in some way. You could be a child therapist or any type of therapist here. Um, I also see it could be a Leo. I see you making a smoothie for someone. I'm seeing you put like flax seeds and collagen in a smoothie. I'm hearing the names Nick, Laureen, Carrie, Charles. For some of you, you may have a Libra daughter and this could be them. You have the King of Cups, you have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, masculine energy and still the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this could be your significant other. Maybe they're going through some type of like health issue and you could be nursing them back to health i just see you making smoothies i'm hearing like um a water fast or a juice fast juice cleanse something like that but yeah on the 11th it's like you think you have time and then all of a sudden now i see you kind of like taking care of something taking care of situation taking care of someone hold on one second oh they want me to temperance so i had a dream myself on october 19th somebody else on october 19th a subscriber had like a really in-depth dream of me and if you guys ever have any dreams with me feel free to email me if you feel guided to i won't think it's weird i won't think it's creepy it's actually very helpful um and there's been a couple times where people that i don't know's dreams have tied in with people that i do know so that's always cool to see that correspondence and also proof that past life energy exists you know so <laughs> but anyway on october 19th okay yeah i feel like this could call out the situation that maybe not you but also maybe you because remember all that tension at work in the last reading that i did for you it's now deleted but it was like lots of tension at work deja vu with don juan like all that but in this dream um wow wait a second Okay, cool. Let me just write something down to remind myself for later. So in this dream, listen to this. I had a dream that like this girl that was a different race than me, I'll say that, she called me out of my name. So just like in any dream where I feel disrespected, I choked her, right? And then I told her that my mom's a lawyer which is not true in real life. My mom's not a lawyer, although we do have like lawyers and attorneys, but I was like, my mom's a lawyer, da 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 da, da. And then I think um, they separated us. So I started recording her cause you know, it's like obviously a race thing. So I'm like, well, just in case, you know, let me show like what's going on in case the police comes. So then I started like recording her, but then she transitioned into a guy and then she started recording me and it was weird because we just we were like backing away from each other with our phones like still recording each other and we had our middle fingers or i had my middle finger up there it was the oddest thing so she transformed into a guy and now we're just like backing up like yeah like i don't know weird weird so I do have a reading for Sagittarius where I have like the shirt with the middle finger on it. That could be significant when it comes to this. Um, I don't know how this is relevant for me, but this just tells me that like it could be maybe this person's going through some type of racial issues. But yeah. Yeah, October 19th, 2023, I woke up at 2.40 p.m. So I probably had a nap. Anyway, um, some of you, this could be your kid. Some of you, this could, that, cause that reminds me of like middle school, you know, like when kids are like tussling in middle school and everybody's recording it, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it was very interesting. Cause I do remember waking up and remembering like that walking away from each other with both of us having our phones being hilarious. Like what the fuck was that? anyway anyway yeah so check on your children hopefully they're not going through any bullying any like issues like that just take it how it resonates 
Now, moving forward, I'm seeing a situation, situation number four where you could be in a dynamic where work turns to love i'm seeing two business partners i'm hearing we were getting money together and then i realized how much i like them and that sounds very interviewish hierophant here so yeah you may have some type of sun you may have some type of work dynamic some type of situation that it starts as work i was seeing two real estate agents like i'm seeing a female and a male real estate agent both very attractive and i see them like showing houses together i'm also seeing two cops like a male and a female cop but two people that have to spend a copious amount of time together and just naturally if there's attraction there it develops into something else um this could be related as well with situation number three. Just take how it resonates. I'm seeing Sagittarius energy. I was hearing the dawn, which makes me think of Aries. I'm hearing Scorpio and Aquarius as well. So yeah. Also going back to that work situation, I'm hearing that song by Justin Timberlake. That's like, I want to rock your body. Da, da dance with me yeah the moon in reverse that's you so yeah okay cool let me see something really quick there's a couple things that i want to look up starting with that song i just want to see what year that song came out da 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 wow the producer is called the neptunes interesting features vanessa marquez don't be so quick to walk away hey that's me yo i need to go out some of you may meet this person out oh, hold on a second Hold on, this song was Super Bowl number 38's halftime performance. Oh, when the infamous war wardrobe malfunction happened? Damn, yeah. And you know how traumatic that was for Janet and Justin. So yeah, maybe somebody's going through something for real. Like I'm hearing calm your tits. Somebody's going through something, do not tell them to calm down. Okay, so moving forward, I gotta get off of Chrome cause it's just moving super slow. This came out in 2002. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Also, I was hearing something about Paris and um, Colombia. But I was hearing 1938 specifically, so we're going to look up what was going on around then in both of those locations, see how it ties into now. I have two more messages and then we'll get into your card reading. So here is Okay, it says Leon Blum formed a PF government on March 13th of 1938 after the collapse of the government Prime Minister Chow Temps on March 10th, 1938. Edouard Daladier of the RSP formed a government on April 10th, 1938. The PF was disbanded on October 4th, 1938. France declared war against Germany on September 3rd, 1939. Okay, so all of this is about forming a government. We did talk about, you know, the Phi Beta whoever and like becoming a part of some type of organization after somebody's kicked out. So I feel like that does um, clarify that. Hold on, and then Colombia.
It says rapid industrial development started in the 1930s and Medellin became the principal producer of cotton textiles. That reminds me of that um, racism dream stuff. And other fabrics, the limited availability of imports during the depression was a major factor that enabled local manufacturing to get its start. So the limited availability of imports during the Great Depression was a major factor that enabled local manufacturing to get its start. So because something else was, you know, not available or not like able to produce, something else i feel like that all ties in in like a strange way to what we were talking about with that new job but you'll know what that is in three days if that's for you you know she's like twitching in his dream so yeah you may have a dream about this before it happens moving forward today's the sixth on the 15th i'm seeing we had a thing for 2024 called the devil's comet yeah the chariot here and the king of pentacles i was hearing asap and that makes me think obviously of like ASAP Rocky, but if you break that down like rock and a comet coming ASAP, so I see either metaphorically or literally there could be some type of comet coming in on the 15th. It reminds me of that Scorpio reading. It's like full circle moment tonight with the comet. So that could be significant on the 15th as well. But yeah, I was hearing something hits the earth. Just take it how it resonates. Something happens quickly on that day as well. I'm hearing three o'clock PM judgment all right so make sure you mark that day in your calendar now moving forward to the 26th i see a lot of people from your hometown i don't know if you're at home or if you're around your family members but i see a lot of people from your hometown trying to like talk to you or maybe talking about you queen of swords in reverse nine of cups in reverse but you not having the social battery to like interact or the energy to really communicate about whatever this is now because of whatever happens on the 15th like maybe a lot of your families like say you got a big job on the 15th and you know you're overwhelmed by that you're excited but you're overwhelmed but your family's like ooh cancer ooh cancer ooh cancer like what are you going to be doing where are you going da, da, da. and you're just like i'm still trying to process everything that's going on so just know like on the 26th don't put yourself in predicaments where you know that people are going to want your attention want to know this want to know that want to you know because i don't feel like you're going to be in the mood to really communicate in a proper way that makes people excited like you know i see you reacting and it's like oh like who does cancer think that you know what i mean you don't want it to be like that i just feel like you're truly tired so um just know death and transformation on the 26th you're gonna need your rest to prepare for whatever um you're stepping into or whatever this new job is going to consist of because like i said i was seeing two weeks of free time however you're stepping into an another role to assist with something else so i do see like an element of kind of being drained so you know just make sure that you're taking time for yourself you're relaxing you're giving yourself um those breaks when necessary all right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Chariot, when we split the deck right there. You may be an artist. Some of you may be an artist. There's a couple. I split this book open and it's split open on art. And the first deck we're using for you happens to be an art deck. So I was like, wow, maybe some of these paintings will be significant for cancer. So um, you may want to look these up on your own. If you're into painting nature, there's a painting called Birds and Flowers of Early Spring by Yin Hong. Look that up and see what that means to you. It says also, where do we come from? Who are we and where are we going when it comes to that painting? And you don't have to be a, an artist to look these up if it sounds significant. If you are into painting religion, um, the future Buddha's courtly life, that painting may be significant or death and the miser by bosch you may want to look that up it looks like somebody's transitioning hour also if you're into painting religion um hunters in the snow by peter brugel and i'll just give you a quick flash if you don't have the time 
Yeah. You may be able like um, to use your intuition through art. So you may not be a painter, but you may be able to see art and still, you know, get some type of download, get some type of synchronicity. So if any of those things have been a theme for you, just make sure you look it up, see what you can get. It doesn't hurt. Shuffle for cancer. What's going on? For the month of, where are we? I almost said March. <laughs> for the month of May look at some themes before we jump in Ooh. so first thing i'm looking at is this shark you could definitely be dealing with the gemini reminds me of the gemini reading gem shark and um the most recent one that we did guilty by association it says art and science are for confronting morality postpone death preserve it encrusted in diamonds talk to your local pharmacist i feel like that kind of coincides with the healing or the rebirth that you're assisting in pharmacist that's all about you know healing you get cough medicine to what get rid of a cold you know so take it how it resonates you also have theory makes perfect Practice makes problems, sign your name in concrete, go big and go home. You're stepping into a cycle that's until 2029. I'm hearing that as well. You have JMW Turner, find the facts and a feeling nature does not sit still. The sun will rise whether, you, whether or not you are there to watch it. So it's like time doesn't wait for anybody. Paul Galgan, go far, go far, exaggerate the subtle, share the unseen, only an outsider sees inward. And then you have Sonia Della Une, don't live to 94 without founding an art movement. The practical should also be art. Does your geometry lack poetry? So any of these artists could be significant to you as well. You may want to look up their artwork. Okay, let's get into your reading. So some of you, you're like in between two different situations. Some of you, it's a thought, a theory, or an idea you've been sitting on. And you, you could be like ready to take action on whatever this is. You have the empress and the emperor on the bottom of the deck here. What's on top? The Four of Cups in reverse. Shuffle for Cancer. I'm hearing no turning back now. Oh my God. You know what? This reminds me of, ah, okay. Okay, my best friend since second grade, I happened to be home in Florida for her when she had her baby. And when I went to the baby shower, or not the baby shower, sorry. When I went to go see her and the baby in the hospital, let me find it. There was like, <laughs> on the computer, it was like, you can't go back. Or it's like, there was like the eeriest message. And I was like, ooh, it's reminded me of that. Let me see what day. It was like October 2022. Uh, it's like October 16th, yeah, because I think he was born on the... Oh my god, I can't find it. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, literally. Okay. October 18th. So there's them. I took that. But right on the screen, it says you can't go back in the hospital room. And I'm like, that's just so eerie to me. And there's a card on it. It says think before you click. 
it says Jupiter medical. So something about abundance. I'm also seeing, you know, Jupiter Sagittarius energy rules abundance. So yeah, you're in the middle of making like a really big decision. And whatever this decision is, like maybe there's something like very expansive about it. But once you make this decision, like there's no turning back. So they just want you to know that confirmation right there. Wow. You may want to watch the Pisces reading. The prophecy begins. Let me see shuffle for cancer. Yeah, because look, it's like once you take that leap, you can't, you know, you can't unleap. You got to, you got to extend the whole way. But you have the five of cups and the six of wands. If you look on the back of the six of wands, you see the chariot. Interesting. Interesting. Shuffle for cancer. You don't, you may not know it yet. Page of Pentacles in reverse. You don't see it yet, but the Ace of Cups on the 11th, like you're stepping into a brand new position, you guys. This is so interesting. Expect some type of communication with all this Gemini energy, the shark, you know, just expect, you could be stepping into like a very, um, how do you say when I think about people that are shark-like, that makes me think of people that are just overly eager, people that are in sales, you know, people that are like, oh, hey, 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 do you want to buy something? You know what I mean? Like just doing too, too much. So you could be stepping into like an environment or a territory where it's like lots of sharks, you know, but I feel like you're fine. For a lot of you, you're able to see through that with your intuition. Luckily, you're a water sign. You see how that shark is split up in five. You know, so that gives, that tells me that whatever this is that you're stepping into, you're prepared. You have your sword, clearly. Like, look how, look how clean those cuts are. So you got your sword, you're good. But just know, I just don't feel like you see this with a page of pentacles or it's like you're not preparing for this like i said you you're under the impression right now like oh the next two weeks are going to be so chill so calm so smooth and i'm just not getting that something about costa rica could be significant my friends um just invited me to costa rica I don't know about that quite yet, <laughs> especially with this coming in, you know, if there's something unexpected, yeah, strength here. You may not want to make any like concrete plans at this time. Yeah, nine of cups. Okay. Let's move forward. So we're moving into like the medieval deck. Um, and what I always say about this deck, what's interesting about it to me is I really like um, how it has this family crest energy. The letter M could be significant. More energy of you kind of like being in two minds. You have the Eight of Wands on the bottom, the Eight of Swords on top. Like I see you thinking, but not necessarily taking action, not necessarily doing. However, I feel like with this new moon, it's like whether you're ready or not, hearing ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. I'm hearing that. But it's like whether you're prepared or not, there's something about this new moon where it's like something's like being pushed through from the past, you know? I'm seeing a baby too. Like I'm seeing a birth canal, like I'm seeing something like be pushed through. Shuffle judgment. Shuffle for cancer.
I'm also hearing this is where your family begins. Four of Wands. This is where your family begins. Yeah, Six of Swords here too. I'm hearing the Sagittarius reading, a storm is brewing. I'm hearing configuration. I see it's like a lot of elements configuring like... <laughs> Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, for this new beginning for you. Interesting. I'm also hearing where there's a will, there's a way. So this also gives me an element of, um, you put the intention towards that. You see how she's holding this wand right here and the Four of Wands, Two of Wands right underneath that. So this is something that you want, transformation, turning point. 2024, the year of the dragon as well. But yeah, this is where it comes through. King of Swords when I split the deck. Okay, cool. You could be dealing with the Gemini for a lot of you. Lots of Gemini energy coming through. But like I said, I feel like you guys work together and you do other things together. It's interesting. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Like, you guys may do the same thing for work. It's like you tell him how you want the house built and then he builds it type of thing. It's like I see yin and yang. Interesting. They're showing me a football coach, like how the football coach is like, oh, this is the play. And then the players go and execute. It's like you can't have one without the other. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be as good or it's not going to be, you know, balanced yeah something like that it's like a model photographer or like it's just something that makes sense um i'm sure you get the gist <laughs> a mechanic a car driver you know something something it just it makes sense whatever it is yeah okay I'm hearing that song. It's like, can you focus on me? Judgment? <laughs> yeah. The devil. The page of swords. I mean, yeah, I'm hearing like on the 17th, by the 17th, like you have somebody's focus, you have somebody's attention. And I feel like it's it's less of somebody, but it's more of like the attention of the universe. You're starting with judgment, you're ending with the devil. And it's almost like, I feel like a lot of different contracts are coming through for you, not only in the form of love, but in the form of many different things. It's just all coming in now. Wait a second. Something about today, today, when that alarm goes off, you're gonna get angelic proof. You're gonna get like some type of understanding. You're gonna get some type of communication, you know, and it's coming straight from, I'm hearing straight from the ethers. I'm hearing, what's up? Like I see them, <laughs> I see them looking down like, yo, what's up? Yeah, they have something to tell you. So whatever that time I set, it set, what was it? Like 10, 10, 14, 10, 12. 10, 12, pay attention, and then by 11 p.m., I'm hearing Last Girl Standing. That sounds like a movie. Let me look that up real quick. Oh, not necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Okay, let's move forward. What animals are you working with? Yeah, the wolf on the bottom. Shuffle for Cancer. A lot of you are definitely, ooh, we split on the shark. A lot of you are definitely becoming a part of some type of organization, job, confirmation. Continue to move through life with, um, I'm hearing consciousness and love. There's something about Saturday for you. Yeah, because you got the wolf and the hyena. Like, you can be this type of energy. We all know the annoying ass hyena. You know, you. whenever I think about hyenas, I just think about their laughs. 
And then you have the wolf. The wolf is wise. The wolf runs in a pack. The wolf has very strong intuition, not only within self, but within others. So just make sure you continue to make all the right choices because um, it's paying off for you in a major, major way. Shuffle for cancer. And also, um, let this be... I'm hearing this will be yeah <laughs> let this be but on a serious note let this be where the fuck I've never heard this alarm in my life and you guys can attest to that y'all hear my alarms go off all day long have we ever heard this it sounds like a phone call portal energy right here but what I was gonna say is like with this new moon coming in tomorrow just literally let the past be the past. Your last reading was all about, you're gonna be thanking me for this in 2026, you know? So like any decisions that you feel like you may have made. Yeah, or like any parts of your story, I'm looking at the turtle with the scales here, I'm looking at the scorpion with the scales here and the lion, like don't let anything from your past keep you from taking action on what you want to take action on all right and why i say this is because once again like looking at the scorpion looking at the turtle although these are really great archetypes it's just you don't want to get to i'm focusing on the exterior of them you don't want to let your um any of your situations one make you harden or two keep you in this like analysis paralysis energy and they keep you from taking um action here or they keep you from striking you know so with this new moon coming in tomorrow just really let the past be the past because it's time to move forward it's time to act i also feel like there could be something i'm hearing december 19th of 2020 hold on let me confirm yeah four swords in reverse that you need to let go of or let be put to rest here hold on Queen of Cups on the bottom, Ten of Swords here, Four of Swords. Yeah, and that's Sagittarius season. There's something, there's something from back then. Go back to December 19th. What I say? December 19th of, I think, 2020. Those numbers came out. 12, 19, 2020. And just see. Um, I'm trying to see if it's worth going back right now for me. If anything, I'll put in the description box. I'll, like, I'll go back and check and see if there's any more messages from that day. Yeah, let that be that, whatever that was or whatever you were dealing with back then. For some of you, it could have been a group of people. For some of you, it could have been like an endeavor that didn't work out with the Knight of Pentacles. But the world here, you're in a new cycle. So don't let like say a certain thing that you did in a very certain way didn't work out for you back in 2020 or before all right well you're in a new moon now you're in a new cycle now so whatever that is now taking those same actions it may be permissible so don't let like oh when i did that before or when i tried that before it didn't work when i tried to apply for that before it didn't work okay well now you're in a new season now things have changed so they don't want you to let the past be like what keeps you going back to the exterior of these two animals like stuck or like hard like you could damn near run over these two animals and nothing would happen you know that's how hard the shell is not saying go test it out but i'm just saying on a hypothetical sense like that's how hard this could be coming you don't want that to happen anything else hold on like, don't be stuck or don't be like rigid in how something was before like allow yourself opportunity to try again i hope that makes sense yeah leo energy scorpio energy and earth energy here mm -hmm. i'm hearing again don't be so quick to walk away but i'm hearing like don't be so slow also to take action because you're like too precautious or like too worried like literally i'm seeing the the empty trash on your computer and then when you like empty the fucking trash for good i'm seeing you do that on your memories that are not in alignment with where you're going or where you're headed like you really need to just like i'm hearing that little noise it sounds like a crunch i don't know <laughs> but i'm hearing that yeah tower in reverse that's the only thing that could hold you up at this time moving forward 
Um, your last spread, go back to your cancer reading. It's called This Is It, Your Life Is A Movie, Any Minute Now, The Chariot on the Bottom. That's also coming through for you along with two Virgo readings that I have as well. I'll put them in the description box below. One is in nine hours, your villain era begins. The other one is, what was it? Oh, your story begins as theirs ends, and that has to do with that whole job thing. So you want to watch that before the next three days as well, all right? Don't overwhelm yourself. Just make sure you take notes and you spread it out accordingly. Cancer here, Queen of Cups here. Shuffle for Cancer. If you ever watched this, I'm sorry, but I did sneak a couple episodes in. I wasn't allowed to watch SpongeBob, but I'm seeing this one episode that I remember of when he was trying to get a job or like become like a professional waiter and they had him remember when all the spongebobs in his mind they were like delete delete and they were like burning all the files up and he had like a blank slate so that he could like absorb new information it also kind of reminds me of say for example if you want to work at a coffee shop they prefer people they prefer people with like no experience as opposed to say you work at Starbucks and you come in with all this like pre-training, it's harder to train you that way. Versus if you come in with like a blank slate, then you know, then you can like be trained to how or tailored to how that company or organization like wants you to be. I'm seeing something like that, but more so in that whole analogy, the clean slate or like the the clean like the fresh mind the fresh approach like the willingness to learn something new the willingness to kind of break what you were doing before and adapt new habits adapt new traits like that's what's going to help you the most at this time okay three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck two of cups okay 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 yeah it's time for you cancer it's overdue it's overdue i'm seeing something about capricorn but contracts on contracts on ca on contracts on contracts that's what i'm seeing for you anything else for cancer yeah that's it clarify this okay if you're a masculine cancer you got the king of cups coming out in reverse you could be investing into something deceptive with the seven of swords here specifically i see you could be investing into something taurus virgo capricorn energy this could be financially this could be because of attraction but i see you investing something financial or um you could be just collaborating with the taurus virgo capricorn but if you're getting skeptical vibes or deceptive vibes or like maybe i shouldn't move forward with this with the eight of wands yeah you're you're 100 right with the seven of swords you're gonna understand with this new moon why exactly you're being urged or encouraged not to continue forward um with something or investing in something even with the two of pentacles like i see the snake here look at these two eyes on the bottom um it just looks interesting so just be careful with that i'm seeing aquarius energy i'm also seeing um february 13th may give you a clue you could have talked to this person, been with this person, February 13th. Yeah, Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Check that out for extra clues. That'll confirm that message if it's for you. But Page of Swords, yeah, I feel like that's for masculine cancers. Um, so, yeah. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. I look forward to seeing you next time and take care. Bye.